This channel has been established for visually impaired people. For the visually impaired people, voice narration and a written expression are also provided for the hearing impaired. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Australian English AWA, and O is a major variety of the English language, used throughout Australia although English has no official status in the constitution, Australian English is the country's de facto official language and is the first language of the majority of the population Australian English began to diverge from British English after the founding of the colony of New South Wales in 1788 and was recognised as being different from British English by 1820 it arose from the intermingling of early settlers from a great variety of mutually intelligible dialectal regions of the British Isles and quickly developed into a distinct variety of English Australian English differs from other varieties of English in vocabulary, accent, pronunciation, register, grammar and spelling contents 1 history 2 phonology and pronunciation 21 vowels 22 consonants 23 pronunciation 3 variation 31 sociocultural 32 regional variation 4 vocabulary 41 comparison with other varieties 5 grammar 6 spelling and style 7 computer keyboards 8 see also 9 references 10 external links history the earliest form of Australian English was first spoken by the children of the colonists born into the colony of New South Wales this first generation of children created a new dialect that was to become the language of the nation the Australian born children in the new colony were exposed to a wide range of of dialects from all over the British Isles, in particular from Ireland and South East England the native-born children of the colony created the new dialect from the speech they heard around them, and with it expressed peer solidarity even when new settlers arrived, this new Dialect was strong enough to blunt other patterns of speech a quarter of the convicts were Irish many had been arrested in Ireland, and some in Great Britain many, if not most, of the Irish spoke Irish and either no English at all, or spoke it poorly and rarely there were other significant populations of convicts from non-English speaking part of Britain, such as the Scottish Highlands and Wales records from the early 19th century show the distinct dialect that had surfaced in the colonies since first settlement in 1788, with Peter Miller Cunningham's 18th 1927 book Two Years in New South Wales, describing the distinctive accent and vocabulary of the native-born colonists, different from that of their parents and with a strong London influence Anthony Burgess writes that Australian English may be thought of as a kind of fossilised cockney of the Dickensian era. The Australian gold rushes saw many external influences on the language The first of the Australian gold rushes, in the 1850s, began a large wave of immigration, during which about 2% of the population of the United Kingdom emigrated to the colonies of New South Wales and Victoria According to linguist Bruce Moore, the major input of the various sounds that went into constructing the Australian accent was from South East England. Some elements of Aboriginal languages have been adopted by Australian English, mainly as Names for places, flora and fauna for example dingo and local culture many such are localised, and do not form part of general Australian use, while others, such as kangaroo, boomerang, budgeragar, wallaby and so on have become international Other examples are kue and hard yakka the former is used as a high-pitched call, for attracting attention, pronounced ki, which travels long distances kue is also a notional distance, if he's within kue, we'll spot him hard yakka means hard work and is derived from yakka, from the Jagara, Yagara language once spoken in the Brisbane region also of Aboriginal origin is the word bung, from the Sydney Pigeon English and ultimately from the Sydney Aboriginal language, meaning dead, with some extension to broken or useless. Many towns or suburbs of Australia have also been influenced or named after Aboriginal words. The best known example is the capital, Canberra, named after a local language word meaning meeting place. Among the changes starting in the 19th century was the introduction of words, spellings, terms and usages from North American English The words imported included some later considered to be typically Australian, such as bushwhacker and squatter This American influence continued with the popularity of American films and the influx of American military personnel in World War II, seen in the enduring persistence of such terms as OK, you guys and G. Phonology and pronunciation Main article, Australian English phonology The primary way in which Australian English is distinctive from other varieties of English is through its unique pronunciation It shares most similarity with other Southern Hemisphere accents, in particular New Zealand English Like most dialects of English it is distinguished primarily by its vowel phonology Vowels Australian English monophthongs Australian English diphthongs The vowels of Australian English can be divided according to length The long vowels, which include monophthongs 
diphthongs and diphthongs, mostly correspond to the tense vowels used in analyses of received pronunciation RP as well as its centering diphthongs. The short vowels, consisting only of monophthongs, correspond to the RP lax vowels. There exist pairs of long and short vowels with overlapping vowel quality, giving Australian English phonemic length distinction, which is unusual amongst the various dialects of English, though not unknown elsewhere, such as in regional southeastern dialects of the UK and eastern seaboard dialects in the US as with General American and New Zealand English, the weak vowel merger is complete in Australian English, unstressed, sometimes written as, or, is merged into, schwa, unless. It is followed by a velar consonant short vowels long vowels monophthongs diphthongs IPA examples, foot, hood, chook, kit, bid, hid, e dress, led, head, comma, about, winter a trap, lad, had, Strut, bud, hud, lot, cloth, hot IPA examples goose, boo, hood I fleece, bead, heat e square, baird, haired nurse, bird, herd ash bag, tan, bad start, palm, bath o. Thought, north, force IPA examples, cure, lure, tour, near, beard, hear a mouth, bowed, howd, goat, bowed, hoed a face, bait, hate e price, bite, hide o choice, boy, oil carrot historical, a, has split into two phonemes, one long and one. Short, so that, for example, in some parts of Australia bad does not rhyme with lad, while in others it does, that is to say, lad has the long vowel however, all Australian regions distinguish can know how to, be able to from can, tin can, to can, vegetables, etc. Carrot many words historically containing, a, have, instead, however the extent to which this development has taken hold varies regionally carrot the phoneme is almost extinct with most speakers consistently using, or, before, are, instead carrot the boundary between monophthongs and diphthongs is somewhat fluid, for example, is commonly realized as, particularly in closed syllables, though also found in open syllables such as where, here, and so on in open syllables particularly the pronunciation varies from the bisyllabic though the diphthong to the long vowel carrot in the environment of syllable final, l, the diphthong, assimilates to the, l, i.e., becomes, and the final, l, can become when followed by a consonant, thus, l, gold. There is little variation with respect to the sets of consonants used in various English dialects there are, however, variations in how these consonants are used Australian English is no exception consonant phonemes of Australian English. S Z L of a word or morpheme before any vowel in the same breath group for many speakers t and d in the combinations tr tw and dr dw are also palatalized thus ter t with and der d with as australian r is only very slightly retroflex the tip remaining below the level of the bottom teeth in the same position as for with it is also somewhat rounded to say are the way australians do you need to say w at the same time where older english wr and r have fallen together as R, the wine wine merger is complete in Australian English yod dropping occurs after R, L, S, Z, theta, T, D, J, and other cases of S, J, and Z, J, along with T, J, and D, J, have coalesced to T, and D, respectively for many speakers, J, is generally retained in other consonant clusters in common with American English and Scottish English. The phoneme, L, is pronounced as a dark velarized L in all positions, unlike other dialects such as English English and Hiberno Irish English, where a light L i.e., a non velarized L is used in many positions. Pronunciation differences in stress, weak forms, and standard pronunciation of isolated words occur between Australian English and other forms of English, which while no Noticeable do not impair intelligibility. The affixes airy, airy, ori, berry, berry, and moni seen in words such as necessary, mulberry, and matrimony can be pronounced either with a full vowel or a schwa, although some words like necessary are almost universally pronounced with the full vowel. Older generations of Australians are relatively likely to pronounce these affixes with a schwa, while younger generations are relatively likely to use a full vowel. Words ending in unstressed eel derived from Latin adjectives ending in illus are pronounced with a full vowel, l, so that fertile rhymes with fertile rather than turtle. In addition, miscellaneous pronunciation differences exist when compared with other varieties of English in relation to seemingly random words, for example, as with a American English, the vowel in yogurt is pronounced as long o rather than short o. Vitamin, migraine, and privacy are pronounced with e, as in mine rather than i, and respectively, pedophile is pronounced with as in red rather than i, and urinal is pronounced with schwa rather than a, long i. As with British English, advertisement is pronounced with tomato and vase are pronounced with as in father instead of e. Zebra is pronounced with 
as in red rather than i, and bui is pronounced as b, as in boy rather than bu i. Two examples of miscellaneous pronunciations which contrast with both standard American and British usages are data, which is pronounced with da as opposed to e, day, and maroon, pronounced with o, own as opposed to u, o, o, n variation. Variation in Australian closing diphthongs diaphoneme lexical set cultivated general broad, i, fleece, e, face, a, price, u, goose, o, goat, a, mouth. Main article, variation in Australian English academic research has shown that the most notable variation within Australian English is largely sociocultural this is mostly evident in phonology, which is divided into three sociocultural varieties, broad, general and cultivated a limited range of word choices is strongly regional in nature consequently, the geographical background of individuals can be inferred, if they use words that are peculiar to particular Australian states or territories and, in some cases, even smaller regions in addition, some Australians speak Creole languages derived from Australian English, such as Australian Creole, Torres Strait Creole and Norfolk sociocultural The broad, general and cultivated accents form a continuum that reflects minute variations in the Australian accent they can reflect the social class, education and urban or rural background of speakers, though such indicators are not always reliable according to linguists, the general Australian variant emerged some time before 1900 recent generations have seen a comparatively smaller proportion of the population speaking with the broad variant, along with the near extinction of the cultivated Australian accent the growth and dominance of general Australian accents perhaps reflects its prominence on radio and television during the late 20th century. Australian Aboriginal English is made up of a range of forms which developed differently in different parts of Australia, and are said to vary along a continuum, from forms close to standard Australian English to more non-standard forms there are distinctive features of accent, grammar, words and meanings, as well as language use the ethnocultural dialects or diverse accents in Australian English that are spoken by the minority groups, which are of non-English speaking background a massive immigration from Asia has made a large increase in diversity and the will for people people to show their cultural identity within the Australian context these ethnocultural varieties contain features of general Australian English as adopted by the children of immigrants blended with some non-English language features such as the Afro-Asiatic and Asian languages regional variation although Australian English is relatively homogeneous some regional variations are notable the dialects of English spoken in South Australia Western Australia New South Wales Victoria Tasmania Queensland and the Torres Strait Islands differ slightly from each other differences exist both in terms of vocabulary and phonology most regional differences come down to word usage for example, swimming clothes are known as cossies or swimmers in New South Wales, togs in Queensland, and bathers in Victoria, Tasmania, Western Australia and South Australia, what is referred to as a stroller in most of. Australia is called a pusher in Victoria and usually a pram in Western Australia preference for synonymous words also differs between states for example, garbage i.e., garbage bin, garbage truck dominates over rubbish in New South Wales and Queensland, while rubbish is more popular in Victoria, Western Australia and South Australia the word footy generally refers to the most popular football code in the particular state or territory, that is, rugby league in New South Wales and Queensland, and Australian rules football elsewhere where beer glasses are also named differently in different states distinctive grammatical patterns exist such as the use of the interrogative a also spelled i or i which is particularly associated with queensland there are some notable regional variations in the pronunciations of certain words the extent to which the trap bath split has taken hold is one example this phonological development is more advanced in south australia which had a different settlement chronology and type than other parts of the country which resulted in a prolonged british english in influence that outlasted that of the other colonies words such as dance, advance, plant, graph, example and answer are pronounced far more frequently with the older, a, as in mad outside South Australia, but with, a, as in father within South Australia l vocalisation is also more common in South Australia than other states in Western Australian and Queensland English, the vowels in near and square are typically realised as centering diphthongs whereas in the other states they may also be realised as monophthongs a feature common in Victorian. 
English is salary celery merger, whereby a Victorian pronunciation of Ellen may sound like Allen to speakers from other states. There is also regional variation in U before L, as in school and pool, typically pronounced as IU in Queensland and New South Wales, but U in South Australia and Western Australia. Vocabulary main article Australian English vocabulary Bush poets such as Banjo Patterson captured the Australian vocabulary of the 19th century in their Bush ballads. Australian English has many many words and idioms which are unique to the dialect and have been written on extensively, with the Macquarie Dictionary, widely regarded as the national standard, incorporating numerous Australian terms Internationally well-known examples of Australian terminology include outback, meaning a remote, sparsely populated area, the bush, meaning either a native forest or a country area in general, and g'day, a greeting dinkum, or fair dinkum means true or is that true, among other things, depending on context and inflection the derivative dinky d means true true or devoted, a dinky d Aussie is a true Australian Australian poetry, such as The Man from Snowy River, as well as folk songs such as Waltzing Matilda, contain many historical Australian words and phrases that are understood by Australians even though some are not in common usage today Australian English, in common with several British English dialects for example, Cockney, Scouse, Glaswegian and Geordie, uses the word mate Many words used by Australians were at one time used in England but have since fallen out of usage or changed in meaning there for example, creek in Australia, as in North America, means a stream or small river, whereas in the UK it means a small watercourse flowing into the sea, paddock in Australia means field, whereas in the UK it means a a small enclosure for livestock, bush or scrub in Australia, as in North America, means a wooded area, whereas in England they are commonly used only in proper names such as shepherd's bush and wormwood scrubs litotes, such as not bad, not much, and you're not wrong, are also used, as are diminutives, which are commonly used and are often used to indicate familiarity Some common examples are arvo afternoon, barbie barbecue, smoko cigarette break, Aussie Australian and pressy present, gift This may also be done with people's names to create create nicknames other english speaking countries create similar diminutives for example gaza from gary or smitty from john smith the use of the suffix o originates in irish gaelic irish o which is both a postclitic and a suffix with much the same meaning as in australian english in informal speech incomplete comparisons are sometimes used such as sweet as as in that car is sweet as full fully or heaps may precede a word to act as an intensifier as in the waves at the beach were heaps good this was more common in regional Australia and South Australia but has been in common usage in urban Australia for decades the suffix li is sometimes omitted in broader Australian English for instance really good can become real good Australia's switch to the metric system in the 1970s changed the country's vocabulary of measurement from imperial towards metric measures comparison with other varieties where British and American vocabulary differs. Australians sometimes favour a usage different from both varieties, as with footpath for US sidewalk, UK pavement, capsicum for US bell pepper, UK green, red pepper, or duna for US comforter, UK duvet in other instances, it either shares a term with American English, as with truck UK. UK, lorry or eggplant UK, aubergine, or with British English, as with mobile phone US, cell phone or bonnet US, hood a non-exhaustive selection of common British English terms not commonly used in Australian English include Australian usage in brackets, arctic, articulated lorry semi-trailer, aubergine eggplant, bank holiday public holiday, bedsit one bedroom apartment, bin lorry garbage, rubbish truck, cagoul raincoat, candy floss fairy floss, cash machine automatic teller machine, ATM, Child minder babysitter, cling film glad wrap, cling wrap, cooker stove, courgette zucchini. Crisps chips, potato chips, sky bludge, dungarees overalls, dustbin garbage, rubbish bin, dust cart garbage, rubbish truck, duvet duna, elastoplast, plaster band aid, estate car station wagon, fairy cake cupcake, patty cake, flannel face washer, wash cloth, free phone toll free, football soccer, high street main street, hoover vacuum cleaner, horse box horse float, ice lolly ice block, icy pole, kitchen roll paper towel, lavatory toilet, lilo inflatable mattress, lorry truck, off license 
essence bottle shop, pavement footpath, potato crisps, potato chips, red, green pepper capsicum, pilchard sardine, pillar box mailbox, plimsoll sandshoe, pushchair pram, stroller, saloon sedan, sweets lollies, utility room laundry, Wellington boots gumboots. A non exhaustive list of American English terms not commonly found in Australian English include acclimate acclimatize, aluminum aluminium, bangs fringe, bell pepper capsicum, bellhop hotel porter, broil grill, burglarize burgle, busboy included under the broader term of waiter, candy lollies, cell phone mobile phone, cilantro coriander, comforter duna, cookie biscuit, counter clockwise anti-clockwise, diaper nappy, downtown CBD, drywall plasterboard, emergency brake handbrake, faucet tap, flashlight torch, frosting icing, gasoline petrol, hood bonnet, jello jelly, jelly jam, math maths, nightstand bedside table, pacifier dummy, period full stop, parking lot car park, popsicle ice block, icy pole, railway ties sleepers, rear view mirror rear vision mirror, row house terrace house, scallion spring onion, silverware, flatware. Cutlery, stick shift manual transmission, streetcar tram, takeout takeaway, trash can garbage, rubbish bin, trunk boot, turn signal indicator, blinker, vacation holiday, upscale, downscale upmarket, downmarket, windshield windscreen terms shared by British and American English but not so commonly found in Australian English include, abroad overseas, cooler, ice box esky, pickup truck ute, wildfire bushfire Australian English is particularly divergent from other varieties with respect to geographical terms terminology, due to the country's unique geography this is particularly true when comparing with British English, due to that country's dramatically different geography British geographical terms not in common use in Australia include, coppice cleared bushland, Dell Valley, Fen Swamp, Heath Shrubland, Meadow Grassy Plain, Moor Swampland, Spinney Shrubland, Stream Creek, Woods Bush and Village Even the smallest settlements in Australia are called towns or stations in addition, a number of words in Australian English have different meanings to those ascribed in other varieties of English clothing related examples are notable pants in Australian English refer to British English trousers but in British English refer to Australian English underpants, vest in Australian English refers to British English waistcoat but in British English refers to Australian English singlet, thong in both American and British English refers to underwear otherwise known as a g-string, while in Australian English it Refers to British and American English flip-flop footwear There are numerous other examples, including biscuit which refers in Australian and British English to American English cookie or cracker but to a savoury cake in American English, Asian, which in Australian and American English commonly refers to people of East Asian heritage, as opposed to British English, in which it commonly refers to people of South Asian descent, and potato chips which refers both to British English crisps which is not commonly used in Australian English and to American American English French fries which is used alongside hot chips in addition to the large number of uniquely Australian idioms in common use, there are instances of idioms taking differing forms in the various Anglophone nations, for example home away from home, take with a grain of salt and wooden touch with a ten-foot pole which in British English take the respective forms home from home, take with a pinch of salt and wooden touch with a barge pole, or a drop in the ocean and touch wood which in American English take the forms a drop in the bucket and knock on wood grammar as with American American English, but unlike British English, collective nouns are almost always singular in construction, e.g., the government was unable to decide as opposed to the government were unable to decide shan't, the use of should as in I should be happy if, the use of haven't any instead of haven't got any and the use of don't let's in place of let's not, common in. Upper register British English, are almost never encountered in Australian or North American English River generally follows the name of the river in question as in North America, i.e., Darling River, rather than the British convention of coming before the name, e.g., River Thames in South Australia however, the British convention applies, for example, the River Murray or the River Torrens as with American English, on the weekend and studied medicine are used rather than the British at the weekend and read medicine similarly, around is more commonly used in constructions such as running around, stomping around or messing around in contrast with the British convention of using about in common with British English, the past tense and past participles of the verbs learn, spell and smell are often irregular learnt, spelt, smelt similarly, in Australian usage, the to in all right to you is retained, as opposed to US usage where it may be dropped while prepositions before days may be omitted in American English, i.e., she resigned Thursday, they are retained in Australian English, as in British English, she resigned on Thursday ranges 
changes of dates used to, i.e., Monday to Friday, as with British English, rather than Monday through Friday in American English when saying or writing out numbers, and is inserted before the tens and units, i.e., 162, as with British practice however Australians, like Americans, are more likely to pronounce numbers such as 1200 as 1200, rather than 1200. Spelling and style as in most English-speaking countries, there is no official governmental regulator or overseer of correct spelling and grammar The Macquarie Dictionary is used by some universities and some other organisations as a standard for Australian English spelling The Style Manual, for authors, editors and printers, the Cambridge Guide to Australian English Usage and the Australian Guide to Legal Citation are prominent style guides Australian spelling is closer to British than American spelling is with British spelling, the U is retained in words such as color, honor, labor and favor while the Macquarie Dictionary lists the R ending and follows it with the R ending as an acceptable variant, the latter is rarely found in actual use today Australian print media, including digital media, today strongly favor R endings A notable exception to this rule is the Australian Labor Party, which adopted the American spelling in 1912 as a result of her spelling's comparative popularity at that time consistent with British spellings, re, rather than er, is the only listed variant in Australian dictionaries in in words such as theatre, centre and manoeuvre unlike British English, which is split between eyes and eyes in words such as organise and realise, with eyes favoured by the Oxford English Dictionary and eyes listed as a variant, eyes is rare in Australian English and designated as a variant by the Macquarie Dictionary A and O are often maintained in words such as manoeuvre, pedophilia and fetus excepting those listed. Below, however the Macquarie Dictionary lists forms with e.e.g., pedophilia, fetus as acceptable variants and notes a tendency within Australian English towards using only e individual words where the preferred spelling is listed by the Macquarie Dictionary as being different from the British spellings include program in all contexts as opposed to program, inquire and derivatives inquired, inquiry, etc. as opposed to inquire and derivatives, analog as opposed to digital as opposed to analog, livable as opposed to livable gorilla as opposed to gorilla yogurt as opposed to yogurt veranda as opposed to veranda burka as opposed to burka and pasty food as opposed to pasty unspaced prepositions such as onto anytime all right and any more are also listed as being equally as acceptable as their spaced counterparts different spellings have existed throughout australia's history a pamphlet entitled the so-called american spelling published in sydney some time in the 19th century argued that there is no valid etymological reason for the preservation of the U in such words as honour, labour, etc. The pamphlet also claimed that the tendency of people in Australasia is to excise the U, and one of the Sydney morning papers habitually does this, while the other generally follows the older form. What are today regarded as American spellings were popular in Australia throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries, with the Victorian Department of Education endorsing them into the 1970s and the Age newspaper until the 1990s. This influence can be seen in the spelling of the Australian Labour Party and also in some place names such as Victor Harbour The concise Oxford English Dictionary has been attributed with re-establishing the dominance of the British spellings in the 1920s and 1930s for a short time during the late 20th century. Harry Lindgren's 1969 spelling reform proposal Spelling Reform 1 or State Route 1 gained some support in Australia. In 1975, the Australian Teachers Federation adopted State Route 1 as a policy state Root 1 calls for the short e sound as in bet to be spelt with e for example friend friend head head both single and double quotation marks are in use with double quotation marks being far more common in print media with logical as opposed to typesetters punctuation spaced and unspaced m dashes remain in mainstream use as with american and canadian english the dd m y y y y date format is followed and the 12 hour clock is generally used in everyday life as opposed to service police and airline applications computer keyboards There are two major English language keyboard layouts, the United States layout and the United Kingdom layout Australia universally uses the United States keyboard layout, which lacks pound sterling, euro currency and negation symbols Punctuation symbols are also placed differently from British keyboard see also Australia Portal Language Portal The Australian National Dictionary International Phonetic Alphabet Chart for English Dialects Strine References Carat and O is the language code for Australian English, as defined by ISO standards see ISO 639-1 and ISO 3166-1 Alpha 2 and Internet standards see IETF language tag carat AB History
ISBN Carrot Wells, John C. 1982, Accents of English, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, p. Carrot Kelly Scott 5 January 2016 Divide over potato cake and scallop, bathers and togs mapped in 2015 Linguistics Roadshow. Australian Broadcasting Corporation retrieved 5 January 2016. HTTP colon slash slash Macquarie Dictionary Kamau carrot a b h t t p colon slash slash Oxford Dictionaries com carrot the so called American spelling. Its consistency examined pre one nine oh one pamphlet, Sydney, E. J. Forbes quoted by Annie Potts in this article carrot http colon slash slash u paradise corgo slash blog slash two oh oh eight slash oh one slash Webster dash in dash Australia slash carrot spelling reform one and nothing else, simplified spelling society newsletter Mitchell, Alexander G. nineteen ninety five The Story of Australian English, Sydney, Dictionary Research Centre External Links Look up Appendix Australian English Vocabulary in Wiktionary, The Free Dictionary Australian National Dictionary Centre Oswards, Free Newsletter from the Australian National Dictionary Centre, which includes articles on Australian English Australian Word Map at the ABC, Documents Regionalisms R. Manel, F. Cox and J. Harrington 2009, An Introduction to Phonetics and Phonology. Macquarie University Aussie English for Beginners, The Origins, Meanings and a Quiz to Test Your Knowledge at the National Museum of Australia. By Topic Constitutional Diplomatic Economic Federation Immigration Indigenous Military Monarchy Railway Geography Climate Continent Deserts Environment Issues Earthquakes Flora